People usually say that airplanes are the safest mode of transportation, with the lowest accident rate, but airplane accidents have the highest mortality rate, therefore, pilots are usually considered one of the most respected professions. Each year, pilots safely transport over 4 billion passengers, but if one day your pilot flies out of the plane, what would you do? Welcome to Oriental Frames. Today's story is based on a real airplane accident that occurred in China in 2018. At 3 a.m. Captain Liu turned on his cell phone timer and held his breath, a habit he retained from his previous service in the Air Force. After kissing his daughter, he prepared to depart for the airport to carry out a flight from Chongqing to Lhasa. Lhasa is located in Tibet, the roof of the world, with an altitude of over 4,000 meters, so the flight route must be operated with two captains. Upon arriving at the airport, the young co-pilot greeted the Captain Liu, according to the aviation weather warning they received, there may be large cloud formations along the flight path today. Therefore, Captain Liu decided to increase the altitude of today's flight path to avoid the cloud formations, and prepared a plan for the alternate flight route. The chief purser was also leading the flight attendants in reviewing emergency measures for high-altitude routes. Meanwhile, the ground crew was conducting the final inspection of the airplane. Everything was as usual. After boarding the aircraft, the flight crew quickly began to inspect the onboard equipment. The passengers boarded the plane, ready to depart. The plane taxied at high speed. At 6 a.m. Sichuan Flight 8633 with 119 people on board took off from Chongqing on time. The altitude gradually climbed to 9,000 meter speed was 750 kilometers per hour. The plane encountered some air currents and the passengers started to become a bit restless. Captain Liu disengaged the autopilot and applied to climb to 9,800 meters. The turbulence disappeared with the climb. Now the external temperature of the aircraft was nearing negative 60 degrees Celsius. Some passengers in the cabin were giving flight attendants a hard time, but the professional flight attendants were all able to handle it calmly. This moment was the calmest time during the entire flight. Just as the co-pilot and captain were chatting, a strange noise interrupted them. It turned out that there was a crack in the airplane's windscreen. According to the flight manual, Captain Liu immediately checked the aircraft's windscreen with his hand. The windscreen of the A320 series aircraft has three layers. Under normal circumstances, as long as the inner layer does not crack, it can fly safely, but this time it was different. Captain Liu found that the inner windscreen had also cracked, this frightened both pilots, this was a flight at an altitude close to 10,000 meters, with continuous snow-capped mountains below, any slight mistake could lead to very serious consequences. Captain Liu immediately instructed the co-pilot to activate the emergency procedures while he himself promptly reported the situation to the control tower. The situation was now critical, and the captain decided to immediately return and make an emergency landing at the nearest Chengdu airport. Just as he finished speaking, the entire windscreen shattered, the aircraft immediately experienced severe lateral roll, the immense pressure difference sucked the co-pilot out of the cockpit window. At the same time, one of the engines experienced compressor surge and flames due to the ingestion of glass fragments, causing a loss of power and subsequent failure of the reverse thrust. The flight attendants thought it was just encountering strong turbulence, so they started to reassure the passengers and reminded them to fasten their seatbelts. The co-pilot's half-body was outside the cabin, and his life was hanging by a thread. Even more frighteningly, this was happening outside the aircraft while it was flying at a speed exceeding 800 km per hour. The temperature plummeted from positive 20 degrees Celsius to negative 50 degrees Celsius, and the cabin pressure was instantly lost. Under such circumstances, the vast majority of people would likely pass out instantly, but Captain Liu, thanks to his physical fitness, remained conscious. He attempted to use his hands to pull the co-pilot back into the cockpit, but the powerful airflow made it impossible possible for him to lift his arms. So, Captain Liu decided to descend in altitude first to stabilize the aircraft. Inside the cabin, there was also severe turbulence happening. The chief purser and the second captain struggled to reach the cockpit door. Despite knocking on the door, there was no response from inside. However, to their dismay, the cockpit door was suddenly blown open by the airflow. Faced with this sudden disaster, the flight attendants remained calm and well-trained. Putting aside their own safety, they immediately assisted the passengers in donning oxygen masks. At the same time, the control tower was desperately trying to contact Flight 8633, but there was no response. They also noticed that the descent rate of the aircraft had exceeded 3,000 meters per minute. If the descent continued, there was a high risk of crashing into the snow-covered mountains. In the, in the critical moment, Captain Liu took a deep breath and focused on his actions. He managed to pull the aircraft up, 
and the co-pilot returned to his seat due to the inertia. However, the strong backward force threw the second captain back into the cabin. But he finally struggled to crawl back into the cockpit. As a fellow captain, they were well aware of the situation in the cockpit and the current predicament. With the assistance of the flight attendants and passengers, the second captain successfully entered the cockpit and promptly closed the cockpit door stabilizing the cabin pressure. Both captains were severely oxygen-deprived and their faces turned purple due to the extreme cold. The control center in Chengdu activated the emergency plan, grounding all flights that had not yet taken off and clearing both runways. To make sure the airspace for flight 8633. The police, medical teams, firefighters, and security personnel were all mobilized and ready to respond. Meanwhile, the control tower continued to make continuous calls to flight 8633 even asking other aircraft in the area to help relay the messages. The aircraft was still at an altitude of 7,000 meters, but they needed to descend to 3,000 meters to have sufficient oxygen. However, the average elevation of the Tibet Plateau was 4,500 meters, so they had to get past this mountain range to descend to the required altitude, but what they didn't expect was that when they were only 180 kilometers away from Chengdu, they encountered rare cumulonimbus clouds. The clouds completely blocked their path, and the situation inside the clouds was extremely complex. Once the aircraft entered, it would be like being thrown into a blender, torn apart by the storm, with no chance to detour, facing the situation. The control tower was also helpless, and it was a major test for the captain. In such a crisis, even a small mistake could lead to unimaginable consequences. Relying on his many years of experience, Captain Liu decisively turned the aircraft around and began circling to find an opportunity. The passengers noticed the continuous circling of the aircraft and started to panic. However, with the chief purser's heartfelt reassurance, the passengers gradually calmed down. At this time, Captain Liu's consciousness began to blur. And he even started to experience hallucinations. Fortunately, the second captain continuously massaged and kept him warm, constantly reminding him to stay awake and to steer the aircraft back, as they not only carried the responsibility and mission but also the happiness of hundreds of families, gaining back his senses, the captain's gaze was fixed on the gap in the clouds ahead. He had anticipated that a gap would appear, so he kept circling, waiting for this opportunity, which was their only chance for a successful breakthrough. The second captain immediately activated the broadcast, and the chief purser once again reminded passengers to fasten their seatbelts and use oxygen masks. Then, with a resolute look, the captain steered the aircraft into the cloud formation. Ground personnel tracking flight 8633 were alarmed by the aircraft's movements and were anxious, biting their lips and holding their breath, all eyes were fixed on the aircraft's heading. This was an almost impossible task, as the pitch black clouds, accompanied by lightning, instantly surrounded the aircraft. The plane was like a small boat in a storm, Constantly at risk of capsizing, Captain Lu remained calm and controlled the aircraft, maneuvering through the hail of ice pellets, as passengers felt fear and helplessness beyond imagination. Fortunately, the captain was as steady as a rock, piloting the plane through the storm, however, just as the aircraft was about to pass through the storm, unexpectedly, the gap in the clouds closed suddenly, and the aircraft disappeared from the ground radar. The ground control personnel were in disbelief and quickly initiated a call, under Captain Lu's control, the aircraft endured several long, dark minutes and finally broke through the cloud formation, reappearing on the ground radar. The tension among everyone was finally relieved, yet, the crisis was far from over. Captain Liu suddenly noticed the mountain range ahead and urgently adjusted the aircraft's trajectory, pulling the aircraft up at the same time. At the critical moment, the aircraft successfully flew over the snow-capped mountains, when the aircraft descended to 3,000 meters, the captains finally could breathe fresh air again. At this time, the control tower had prepared for the emergency landing of Flight 8633, cleared both runways, and multiple departments, including fire and medical teams. The airplane finally entered the airspace of Chengdu City, and the pilots took off their oxygen masks to better observe the ground. Next came the thrilling moment, where miracles were born. With the full cooperation of the three pilots, the aircraft slowly descended, stabilized, and aligned with the airport runway. However, after the aircraft successfully landed on the runway, due to the failure of the reverse thrust, the co-pilot had to constantly press the brake pedals to slow down. But under the high-speed friction, the tires burst with sparks flying. 
Just as the plane was about to overrun the runway, the three pilots made multiple attempts together, and the reverse thrust was finally restored. Eventually, Sichuan Flight 8633 successfully landed safely. After the passengers regained their senses, they could hardly believe they were still alive. They shed tears of excitement, grateful for having survived the near-death experience. In the actual situation, due to the failure of the reverse thrust and the braking system caused by the malfunctioning flight computer, Sichuan Flight 8633 stopped only 100 meters from the end of the runway at Chengdu Airport. While the movie added extreme weather conditions that were not present in the real event, the actual Sichuan Flight 8633 was far more legendary than the movie. Captain Liu indeed created a miracle of human physiological limits and a miracle in the civil aviation industry. So, if your pilot flies out of the plane, what you need to do is believe that your pilots and crews can safely bring you back to the ground. No voiceover can replicate the charm of the original film. A great movie deserves to be experienced in its full plot. Thank you for your watching and subscribing.